Hello, I'd like to introduce you to the new Z4, Z8 samplers from Akai. Uh, let's see, they are the world's first 24-bit, 96 kilohertz sampler available today. We had to actually manufacture our own JS, uh, let's see, uh, LSI uh, Intel processor to actually get, you know, to, to support some of these new features and functions that I'll be going over later. Uh, what we've got here is the Z4 sampler and it's for Q-Link real-time controllers. Over here we have the Z8 which has eight real-time controllers available on the Q-Link as well as a detachable face. Uh, let's see, each, each system runs, you know, runs the same OS so you know, it, uh, there's no difference there. It's just a difference between you know, the faceplate and the real-time controllers and some subtle differences as far as the options that are available for you know, the Z4. Z, uh, speaking of, of options, both, uh, you know, both samplers, uh, you can actually select which, uh, which type of output stages you would, you would like to suit your studio needs. For instance, you can either purchase an eight, uh, an eight output analog board or you can purchase an eight, uh, let's see, eight channel eight add option or you can purchase, uh, let's see, a two channel spit if option which you know are available at your local Akai dealer. Uh, also as an option, uh, we do have a 56-bit internal processor for both the Z4 and the Z8 samplers. But uh, let me go ahead and tell you what's included with the sampler. Uh, see, both samplers would uh, will ship with a 60 gig hard drive and 256 meg of RAM, and then we're also going to add some sounds as well to the hard drive. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, let's see this for the Z4, 1799 suggested list price. The Z8 suggested list is 2299. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and uh, show you some of the uh, some of the screens on the Z8. Right here we have multi mode. You can see my demo, and as you can see, we put it, we laid everything out where it's you know rather user friendly. One thing I'd like to show you is uh, in uh, in the Intel sample, we can actually record a sample, and by pushing auto we can actually add this to the program and set a start key. We can also go with sample names. What this will do is actually let us sample and uh, sample continuously while, uh, while this uh, you know, creates a, you know, creates a pro adds it to a program or creates a new program for this. And this right here is beneficial. Say you were using uh, an audio CD that had uh, just nothing but uh, audio wave files. The old school approach was to actually sample each one manually. With the new Z4 Z8 samplers, you can actually set a default name, push the button, push the button, and have the um, you know have the samples automatically sampled into memory, auto normalized, and then mapped out over the entire key span with just a simple button press. Also, as part of the Intel sample, we uh, we offer uh, beat munching, which lets you record with uh, samples. I mean, excuse me, record uh, samples with effects. So, you know that would, uh, that's a benefit from having the newer uh, you know, the newer processor, which is also utilized in the DPS24 and the MPC4000. Uh, moving on, we have USB support, which lets us communicate via USB to the Axis software, which is displayed on my screen. What this does is lets us. This is the front panel emulation software. This lets us go to any screen that we would normally go on the front panel. And this is automatically updated via USB to the you know to the hardware sampler. Uh, from here we also have our Q-Link knobs. Now the Q-Link knobs, what we've got here is we push the Q-Link button. Now what this lets us do is this lets us assign any part to a continuous controller. Right now this is set for cutoff, but I can with the jog wheel I can actually select resonance, uh, triple filter cutoff which is another, uh, another advantage to having the, uh, the cell SI processor. What that is, is that's actually a, a three, a triple filter per voice. So that uh, you can have a band pass notch, uh, let's see, high pass filter all running on the same, you know, you know per voice. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's all selectable. And you can do this by part and by, you know, by controller.